Just about every surveyor knows the importance of making control ties for their survey data, and one of the most common sources for these control ties is the National Geodetic Survey's archive of SurveyMark data sheets. It's a wonderful resource and can be very, very useful. What many surveyors don't know, though, is that TBC has a really handy routine for accessing this archive and to download and, and to search and to even import that data directly into a TVC project. So in this video, we're gonna show exactly how to use that and, uh, and hopefully this will be a valuable tool in your arsenal. So uh, to begin with, I've created a TVC project and in this case, I've downloaded some static GNSS data uh, from near our store in Escondido, California. So this is Southern California, so I've created a project and I've set it at California Zone 6. Um, if you didn't have existing data already, an alternative uh, would be to get a geographic coordinate for, from some resource like, uh, for example, uh, Google Earth. You could go to Google Earth, and if you had a uh, if you had an address for where you might be, you could go ahead and you could type that in the address bar. And uh, in this case, I'll type in the address for our store in Escondido. And when you go ahead and search that, it'll actually display to you in the lower right-hand corner of Google Earth, a latitude and longitude. So if you were to scribble that down on a piece of paper uh, armed with that information, you could then enter that into your TBC software. So I'll show how to do just that. Here, so for example, if I didn't have this data already, what I might do is I might open a project, set my coordinate system, and then go ahead and go into the CAD routine. I'm going to select the little icon above Create Point, and you could give it a point ID. I'll call it point 1000. Or, and, uh, and in this case, I usually like to switch that over to a global coordinate. And we're going to go ahead and put in the latitude that we got from Google Earth. So I'm just going to go ahead, and the syntax here is put in your degrees and then a decimal place. So this is going to be 33 degrees, 6 minutes, and 57 seconds. I'm going to hit my tab key. Because our longitude is in the Western Hemisphere, I'm actually going to put in a minus sign. But I'm going to put in minus 117.0643. Forty-three for 117 degrees, 6 minutes and 43 seconds. And this uh, elevation was about 700 feet. So, oops, let's get rid of that question mark. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit add. And you can see it populated that point here. So that would be an alternative. But armed with that information, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this create point routine. And because my TVC software is connected to the Internet, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and select the Survey drop-down tab, and I'm going to select the Internet Download dialog window. And over on the right-hand side will be a number of choices that are baked into the Internet Download routine. So say, for example, I was trying to find some NGS uh, records for the horizontal control points near my survey area. What I would do is I would go to the Internet Download routine, and I would go ahead and, in this case, I'm going to select the NGS data sheets for horizontal control. And I'm going to go ahead and just select automatic at the bottom of the page. Here I've given several different search parameters. So I can go ahead and select the project center or I could give it a specific point in the project. I usually like to change this over to global. But then you can specify a search radius. So you could start large and work smaller, or you could start small and, 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 and work your way out, but I'm just going to put in an arbitrary value of about three miles in this case. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and, uh, and when I do, what you'll find is that TBC is actually wired into the NGS data archives, and uh, here it's showing me a historical record of where I might find NGS data sheets and control points at a particular distance from where I'm going to go. So if I look at this, I see that there's a point that's called Whitney that uh, looks like a first order horizontal control point. No telling if that point's actually there or not. But let's go ahead and pull down the data sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And I'm going to go ahead and select Get Data Sheets. We'll give that just a second. 
And here's an NGS data sheet. A lot of you surveyors are going to be familiar with these. And uh, you can kind of look through them and see if it looks like there's a possibility that those points will actually be there. You can kind of search through the historical records. And it looks like this particular monument was at least last seen in 1990 and reported in good position. So there's a good chance that that may still be uh, in existence. So um, you could certainly print these out and do something else. But, uh, but I happen to be using Chrome as my browser. Sometimes I use Internet uh, Explorer. Uh, if you're using one of those browsers, it's a little bit more difficult with Edge, but uh, if you're using one of these browsers, by default, one of the things that you can do is you can right-click in the white space, and you can hit Save As, and you can save this as an HTML document. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to save this to my desktop, and it's already pathed to my desktop. And I actually saved this point previously as Whitney, but I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite that. I'm just going to kind of give it a name, and I'm going to save this to my desktop. So it's asking me if I want to replace it. I'll go ahead and answer yes. And I'll go ahead and close this out. You could save this as a text document as well. This will also work. But, uh, but presumably I've saved this, this document. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take that NGS data sheet, and I'd like to bring those control coordinates into my TVC project. Now, of course, I could go back up to CAD, and I could create a point, and I could hand enter that stuff but there's an easier way and uh, so to do that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this internet download dialog for a minute and just to make it a little easier to see my desktop I'm going to resize TBC for just a moment by clicking the little squares in the upper right but here is that Whitney file that I just saved and it turns out that one of the clever capabilities of TBC is that you can simply drag and drop this HTML file right smack dab into TBC. And let me re-expand this. And there you see Whitney that came right into my plan view. And uh, so if I wanted to see basically how far away that was, I could use a lot of the tools that are in TBC, like the measure tool. And I could say to myself, well, looks to me like that's roughly 13,000 feet away from where my project area is. So if I wanted to make a control tie to that area, it'd be roughly two miles. Of course, I can do the other some of the other useful tools in TBC. For example, I could go to the Home tab and I could do a Google Earth export. Hit Select All. And this would give me an idea of where these points are spatially on a satellite image. So let me go ahead and I'll hit Apply. And if you have the freeware version of Google Earth installed, TBC is actually hardwired to take advantage of that as well. So these are really, really useful tools to see what's going on. So here's my actual survey data. So that was the data that I collected. And then about two miles to the west, there's our point Whitney. And this will give you some idea of the terrain and what's going on. So hopefully this will give you some ideas and show you some new tricks and tools to put in your arsenal and make your experience using the Trimble Business Center all that more valuable. So until next time, hope that helps, and we will see you again.